fans of Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 or Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix is here. Came out yesterday. I wanted to do an unboxing because I wanted you to see what was available if you pre-ordered or if you had a couple extra at your local GameStop. Totally worth it. So of course, this is Tyler, aka Blue Mage 492, aka Grand Lethal 16, coming at you with this unboxing. And comes with this little pin in here. I keep hearing it rattle around, so I just got to show you that right now. which I'm probably going to be putting on my backpack. So this is a limited edition version. I picked it up at GameStop. It came out about two days ago, so I picked it up right before my pre-order holding of a limited edition had expired. So Square's been doing something new lately, I've noticed. They did this also with Kingdom Hearts and I believe Final Fantasy X and X2, uh, the limited edition HD remaster. If you pre-order their port of games that came out in the past, oftentimes, if you pre-order it, you automatically get the limited edition, which is pretty cool because you know if you're going to get it anyway, if you're already going to pre-order it, if they're giving you a free bonus, I mean, it certainly doesn't hurt customer loyalty. And you know what? It's about time I get to this because I know I played Birth by Sleep to the to the end and I played some too, but I never really got into Kingdom Hearts uh, recoded much. And of course, these are both final mix versions, so I'm really excited about this. Let's open this up and see what goodies are in store for us today. Let's see if I can get this bad boy out of here. So it has this Sora and Mickey Mouse pin on it. That's coming out. Maybe I'll take it out the plastic just so we get a good view of it. <clears throat> Alright, and they don't want you to lose it. It's got a couple little pins on the back to make sure that it's secured down. And, oh, this is crazy. So Sora's... Source Keyblade here, if you can see it. Let's let me focus in here. Source Keyblade actually has a little keychain that hangs from the pin. Pin's got two, two little lock in place things, so you're not going to be losing it. It's it's a beautiful pin. You know, it's 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 chromed out a bit here. It's quite hard. This is this is a hard metal. You know, it's 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 painted. It's outlined. Everything everything was done well. This is not a cheap item. I mean, there isn't anything I can say that's wrong with it. So it's not for sale. I, I wouldn't sell mine. That's for sure. I can't imagine why anyone would want to. I mean, this is this is something I just I sense power from this. I put this on. I'm going to be hitting all kinds of combos. Heartless aren't going to have a chance against me. Ain't nobody going to have a chance against me. So yeah, this is the collectible pin. It says, what does it say? The Magical Saga continues in three remastered journeys. Official Disney collectible pin. It says 1.67 uh, inch metal enamel and never released elsewhere. Probably never will be either. You know, Square's pretty cool about that. Or Beautiful casing. Looking so fresh here. Look at this, this, this artwork. Actually, I want to... See if you can tell. They got all these keyblades all the way around. I see uh, the cloud one you get from beating Sephiroth right here. But you got all these keyblades. You got Kairis, you've got Riku's, you've got Clouds, Squalls, you've got the Jack Skellington, you got the the one Mickey Mouse likes to use. Everything is in here. So all the ones you saw in the final mix cuts on YouTube, you're gonna be able to use everything. Everything. I think this one is the the Axel one too, actually. And let's see what the disc looks like. That disc looks so good. Of course, they got it in here again. Uh, yeah, there's not much information in these booklets these days. They just look pretty, really. Final mix copies of Kingdom Hearts 2 and of Birth by Sleep. So any bosses that you'd seen those cuts of on YouTube that you hadn't played before, you're going to get your chance to fight them now. You're going to get to fight all of Organization 13, which really bummed me out. I played Chain of Memories. I got to fight them there, but... I want to play them in 3D. I want to play them, or I want to play them in on a three-dimensional playing field. I want to fight them in this. I've seen those those playthroughs people had, and I always wondered how they got to it. Now you have to wonder no more. Uh, it says E10 Plus, so it does work with DualShock. You know, it is HD, of course, only one player. Yeah, this thing looks so good. Dang, I'm gonna have to play this in a minute. All right, so of course, thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment if you have any uh, anything you'd like to see in the next unboxing. If you haven't already, subscribe already. Take it easy.